and then we can get the full uh, extent of the yard in. Well, you see the guys looking I'm here. Over this yard. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna punch it in fucking face. Wow. So he's flying. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you in the fucking face. All right, mate. <laughs> Calm down. Like he's literally flying a drone. He's not even like doing anything. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Auditing Auditors, episode six. And today we're looking at PJ Audits, another fantastic auditor from the UK. And it, so we're here on his YouTube channel to start us off. And it says, I am traveling the country doing audits, visiting police stations and industry across the country to see what kind of response a man with a camera gets from the general public. And boy, does he get some pretty crazy interactions on his channel? So I thought that we'd uh, we'd take a look, little look at his channel first because I think it's, it is quite interesting. Some of his videos are absolutely crazy, um, and you can see his top videos got four hundred and two thousand views, um, and a lot of the big ones tend to be the more aggressive videos where where people in the videos get aggressive with them which is which is a shame that this happens because pj is a nice guy he doesn't approach people in a in a negative way at all he doesn't go out trying to get these kind of interactions um so let's take a look now at his social blade account here we are on pj audits social blade account and we can see that his channel was created on may the 6th 2021 and in that time he's uploaded 854 uploads so good going there two years and 854 videos that's that's quite a lot uh he's managed to get 52,000 subscribers in that time and that has led to 28 almost 29 million views which is fantastic and his channel type is set to people uh, which is interesting and we can see that he has quite a decent um, earning on YouTube he, he could be earning up to five point eight thousand uh, pounds monthly and up in a year he could be earning up to sixty nine point six thousand pounds as well which is which is incredible like that that's a really good wage to be getting so i think this this is all dependent on whether or not he's posting regularly and stuff like that so let's take a look at pj's future projections where is he going to be in five years time so we can see that if pj continues his current trajectory he could be on 750,000 subscribers which is a fantastic increase there over the next few years but i can see as a, as i've said on other channels as well i can see this increasing uh by a lot more than that so pj i think you're going to be on over two million uh in five years time uh if you keep pushing the way you are at the moment so let's go back to channel now and let's take a look at some of his videos because he's got some interesting ones there which is this video here so this is actually at a scrapyard it's just crazy how this guy gets treated hey everybody it's a company called the griffiths group these are metal and waste recycling i love these recycling yeah i just think they're freaking awesome they are very interesting to look at i have to say the main thing i love about watching auditors is the fact that you get to see things in society that we as the general public don't generally get to see and especially these kind of sites like i could give or take the police ones I'll, i do like the police ones they are very interesting and you know it's it's great to see people standing up for our rights with the police uh but i really enjoy these ones even more because i always think that i drive past this place every day and i never know what goes on inside there uh, and then these auditors go there and they give us a view of what goes on inside some of these facilities. It's really interesting. Oh, I don't know what that is. That looks interesting. What's that machine there, mate? Smelting machine. A smelting machine. Smelter. Wow. And what's it smelt? Metal? Yeah. Wow. That is so cool to see. I, I mean, I've never, never, ever seen anything like this. This is incredible. As someone that works like an office job, like you don't get to see these kind of things. So you took all, everything in there and it smelts it down and then it, it goes off somewhere else, does it to get, yeah. well I say weighed in, you've already weighed it in here, haven't they? 
I think it's funny that these two guys are sat there having their break right underneath where the smelting goes on. Is this safe? I, I mean, I wouldn't put my drink on there because of stuff falling into it and stuff like that. It's a uh, very weird that they would do this. This is not a place to have your break, guys. Come on. So you do all sorts of recycling here, do you? Yeah. All right. I love recycling yards. <laughs> no, seriously, they're full of big machinery and you know lots of interesting things going off. I did a, I did a big place at Wards. You know, recycling. Did one of their did one of their places. That was outstanding. That was. It was really good. That looks like somebody's coming to talk to me now. <laughs> so it starts off all right. It starts off having an, a relatively interesting conversation with those guys on their break, and then this guy who is um, basically one of the owners of the company comes up and decides to challenge PJ on what he's doing. Let's uh, take a look at this. This is where it starts to get a bit more interesting. How are you doing? No, you are. I'm just doing a bit of videoing, there. You're a pal. Just doing a bit of videoing. Video? Uh, Griffiths Group Metal and Waste Recycling. Uh, what for? Uh, I make YouTube videos. All right, yeah. And I love recycling yards. Right. For some reason. I don't know if it's just me a bit daft or whatever, right? But yeah, I mean, I'd prefer it if you didn't, if I'm honest with you, like. So. Yeah. I mean, they're full of... You've got no permission or all, have you? Well, if I'm, as long as I'm not on your property, I'm fine, mate. Right, I've had a drone to come video. Yeah, well, I am going to fly a drone over at top as well and get some aerial footage in You won't, pal, no. <laughs> you won't, pal. Oh, you, you will. will. You're going to shoot... Did you hear that? Did you hear that? He'll shoot out the flipping sky. Well, he said, you know, the other word. But uh, he said, he swore at him and said he's going to shoot his drone out of the sky. Like, does that mean he's got a gun? That's quite, that's quite scary. I, I think immediately that would make me a little bit scared. Shoot it down. What yeah. do you shoot it down with? Shotgun. You do Shotgun. know that would be illegal and you go to prison, don't you? Uh, you need, obviously, you can't just come video people's side, pal. It's not, you know Yeah, I mean? can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, can. It's, uh, it's unrestricted airspace, which means I can fly if I want. Right, oh, okay. Well, we'll see what happens, yeah. But, you know... If so you can see, PJ is being really nice. He's telling him what he's going to do. He's not. He's not doing it like he's not hiding around the back and flying the drone. He's he's come to the front to let them know what he's going to be doing. So I think massive respect to to PJ here. He's clearly doing his due diligence to make sure that they're comfortable with what he's doing. But he's not going to take a an order from this guy. I mean, who's this guy to tell him what he can and can't do? on public land it's it's his prerogative to do whatever he wants if you shoot it down you'll uh, be spending christmas in big house if you shoot it down you'll be spending christmas in the big house because it is classed as an aircraft right are you just being a bit nosy though some job it's you know what i mean it's out i've done i've, I've heard of people privacy man it? 700 odd videos so far uh, all similar kind of stuff i've just sent to these lads I did uh, wards at Sheffield. They invited me on site, took me yeah. all around site. If you, and said, if you send a lecture and that, it'd be, it'd be a bit different, wouldn't it? Or, well, you know what I mean. You know, people say that, and I never get a reply or out like that. And yeah, you know, send a letter or an email. People might feel a bit different about it when yeah. you're just turning up with a video. I did. Uh, that's that's the whole point. A lot of people say this. Why don't you Why don't you email beforehand? Why don't you give us a ring or, or let us know what you're planning on doing? It's like that's the whole point. If you let someone know that you're going to be there filming. They'll change things. They'll move stuff around. They'll get rid of some some of the things that they don't want you to see, which is the whole point in, in doing an audit, is going to see how these places are run and what's going on behind the scenes, not a fabricated version of what they do. So I think the whole notion of letting them know beforehand is just ridiculous, and it doesn't work for this situation. The whole point is that it's a surprise that is there. And I've seen a lot of people who've taken the opportunity and really made it work for them. So they've they've seen this YouTuber turn up at their site and they're like, right, we can use this this to advertise our company to a lot of people on, on YouTube. Um, but unfortunately, there's some companies like this one who don't want advertising. They don't want the public's eyes on them. And there's a good reason for that is that they're doing dodgy stuff. And this company especially, uh, after I saw this video originally, I did some research into this company and it turns out they're actually, um, they've actually been fined and I believe one of their owners went to prison. 
for uh, dodgy scrap dealings. Um, and I can't remember the details of that case now, but basically they were doing illegal stuff on that site. Well, I did a, I did a fantastic one at another um, ward site down towards Nottingham, and I did a, a, a tour at site with drone and put some dramatic music on, looked really, really good. But, yeah. People might even pay you for it, but I don't think just turning up and videoing people's sites. People, you know, it's not. Yeah. It shouldn't be able to be allowed, that should it? Yeah, what do you do here? Well, I own it. I'm oh, you're a man, you're Mr. Griffiths, are you? Mr. Griffiths, yeah. All right, okay. So here we've got somebody who thinks that he can tell anyone what to do. Because he's in charge of the company, that gives him a, a status at his company. That has given him the false idea that he's potentially allowed to go and just give everybody orders. But that's not the case, mate. You can't just do that. So let's move it along and let's see what happens um, at when PJ takes his drone up. And then we can get the full uh, extent of the yard in. You can see the guys looking here. Wow, look at that. I'm going to punch it in fucking face. Wow. So he's flying. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm going to punch you in the fucking face. All right, mate, <laughs> calm down. Like, he's literally flying a drone. He's not even, like, doing anything. Like, imagine if uh, imagine if he was flying it, like, literally above their head and they could feel the wind from the drone. Yeah, I'd be a bit pissed off, but like, <laughs> he's not doing anything wrong at all. That is... <laughs> Fuck me. It's crazy when you hear these kind of things. All right, mate. Fuck off. Biggie me all you want, but fuck off. It's not over your yard, mate. That's my yard. That's my yard. That's my yard. All right. Now fuck off. It's not over your yard. Fuck off. Yeah. All right. This I'll is this is terrible because like again he's on public land. He's allowed to do this. It's not a restricted airspace, and PJ is an old guy. Like he's not young. Like like I I think this is wrong no matter what age a person is. But, you know, don't do this to an old person. Like, they could have a heart attack or anything. You don't know what kind of medical conditions some people have. Don't just go and threaten people, especially not while they're operating a drone. I think that is the big thing here. Um, this is, honestly, this gives this makes my heart pound. Like, I've got goosebumps watching this. It's so scary. Fetch the drone down. Fetch it down. I'm not joking with you. No, that's fine. It's a shame he doesn't have a camera um, filming him at this point, but I know uh, DJ and other auditors like have a GoPro on their chest that they're filming all the time so they can make sure that if anything happens while they're filming the drone or when they're not filming with their main camera, they've got that backup um, piece of recording that they're able to use. And obviously, uh, PJ here is just using audio for this section. Um, so luckily, he's got it on audio. But it would have been better if he had it on camera. Right, so. Fetch it down, otherwise I'll eat you. It'll land on four and then I'll smash it. That's all right. Don't tell me about being in there. Being there. Yeah. You obviously like it. So let's have a look at this because they're clearly doing something dodgy. Something's not right about this yard. And um, as, as I said, they were investigated and someone was um, arrested and put in prison for dodgy, t dodgy scrap dealings. And you can see it's, it's, it's a right mess. Like this whole site is, is an absolute state. You can see you got, you got like um, dumpsters over here, like all just piled on top of each other. You got like loads, so much like mixed waste everywhere. And you've even got a van just plonked precariously on this pile of metal it is awful it is really bad um that they that they've got this terrible of a site and they're treating a member of the public this poorly as well it's like they're, they're, they've really let themselves down in this in this video so as you can see not very happy not a happy chappy at all yeah, definitely not a happy chappy. They are really not happy. You can hear them just like shouting and screaming about what's going on. This is this is insane. Another one. Give me your 
me what? Get fucked. Give me that. Hey, give me that. You fucking not. I fucking care. You dick splash. Give me that. Yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he just call him a dick splash? <laughs> a dick splash. What the fuck is a dick splash? I need a drink after that. Oh my god. Dick splash. <laughs> dick splash. Hey, my name's Dick Splash. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, come out. Get out here. Come on. Hey. I'm doing a video, mate. Hey? I'm doing a video. Give me your remote. What are you doing? I've got a belt hand there, mate. Doing? I'm videoing. Oh my god, look, look he's just disconnected his drone. Get fucked. Get that in the car. Get videoing this idiot here. What the fuck you think you're doing? Oh my god, like this is this is crazy. I haven't watched this for a while since it was uploaded, so. Wow, wow. <laughs> it's it's all I can say is wow. Excuse me, I've got a boat now and I'm a Bro, can't be your fucking face, you can't! I've got a dead drum bag, we're fucking rolling. Give me the drum, quick. Oh, fuck off. You can hear his breath, he's breathing really heavily. Alright, get that in the car. Get video on this idiot here. Who's the fucking idiot you video yeah? How'd you fucking plan for? What the fuck do you think you're doing? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Uh, excuse me. Eh? Excuse me, I've got a broken arm. Bro, I can't be your fucking face, you can't. I've got a red gun back, we're fucking welling. There you go. Just get in the car. My god, PJ's poor wife is in the car as well, and these guys are being so aggressive. And now, as you can see, they're about to pull up and block his car as well. This is really bad. So they've just blocked him in and decided to walk away. And then... I'm the recording this up. as well, all right then. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I make YouTube videos, 700 and odd videos I've got on YouTube. Right. I go around industrial estates, I video companies uh, and places of interest, you know, plant and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I had a walk around the site, did some video uh, around the site on the public footpath, didn't go on their premises or anything at all. Uh, the only time I went on pre premises was I went to his place to knock on the door to just tell him I was going to fly a drone over. Right. Uh, stood at the entrance to the scrapyard there, didn't go on site. Uh, he asked me what I was doing, I said I was just making YouTube videos. I said I'll be flying a drone over in a bit. And he says you fly a drone over here, he says I'm going to fucking shoot it down. Uh, I said what are you going to shoot it down with? He says shotgun. Uh, and I did say to him, you know, if there's an aircraft, if you shoot it down, you're going to be in beat shit kind of thing. All right. He says, I don't give a fuck. So anyway, um, I sent the drone up, did a quick video of this place and that place and that place. I hadn't even got over their premises and they all come running out, effing and blinding at me, uh, trying to grab my controller for my drone, uh, punching me, kicking me. And what are your injuries? I've got a broken arm. They punched me on my broken arm. Right. They punched me in the chest all right, twice. So just have a look. You're all right to hold this, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. that one that's broke. You can't see anything, but... Yeah, extend it, that. No, no chance. You can't extend it now. No, I can't. I can't um, move it, can't lift it. I take it you were filming before. Um, did you manage to get any footage of this when they approached you? Um, some of it, yeah, he's one of them. This is this guy's one of them. He's one of these people that's actually blocked my car in. Sorry, are you able to um, show us any of this footage? I can, yeah. Can you... Yeah, I can show it to you. I'll have to, down, I'll have to download it off my Ask camera and off the drill. Can you, can you get it on your phone while we're here? Um, 
Yeah, hang on, come down here a minute. Just hold that. Oh, in fact, I've got to turn it off anyway. So there you go. That's it. That that's the whole video. PJ, who was nothing but polite to these people, uh, was treated like absolute shit at this place. And as we said, there's bit, there's definitely reasons why they don't want people filming there. They're doing something dodgy at this place. And so I hope, following on from this interaction. Uh, PJ filed a, a police report against these people, showed all the evidence, and they were not only reprimanded for doing what they did to PJ, but also then investigated for what they were trying to hide. Because it's obvious they were hiding something. Even though it probably is worth them being audited again, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. The aggression that, that they um, they showed towards PJ there. And, um, and I imagine... They were probably even restrained because he was an older guy. Imagine if it was a young guy who was a similar age and a similar build to them. Uh, they would have it. It would have probably ended in a, an actual fight. Like I imagine, people would have been fighting at that point. So yeah, another brave auditor we've got here. A, an auditor that really puts himself on the front lines and really shows how people are treated just for simply filming from a public place. Um, so I've actually designed PJ a brand new logo and so you might have seen my previous video where I reviewed the laughing auditor and I made him a logo and I decided to use an animal to represent his channel and I decided to use the raven but for PJ he's got such amazing hair he's such a big character the animal that I thought PJ really reminds me of is actually a lion and so um, I actually made him a logo uh, based on that idea that he's a lion so this is the logo that I made for PJ audits and I didn't realize this until after I exported it from Photoshop but it actually looks like a coin to me or a token so I thought maybe this could be something that he gives away to his followers that see him in the street almost like DJ does with his key rings and there is actually a a way that you can get this printed and it and it actually be like a coupon but still it is like a key ring and i don't know if you've seen these before but these are all over the place especially in the uk and they're called trolley coupons and so you could actually get this made into a trolley coupon and so i had a little play around and see whether or not um how this would work so i've actually made a mock-up of this um this idea and here it is so this is what it would look like as the key ring. So PJ, maybe this is what you want to do with it. Maybe you don't want to switch your logo out. Maybe you're happy to keep your logo as it is. But I'm still going to send you this design and maybe you can use it for something else. Maybe you can use it for another platform or something like that. Thanks everyone for watching this week's episode of Auditing Auditors. If you like this video, remember to like, comment and subscribe to let me know that you enjoyed it. And if you have any more suggestions of auditors for me to review, then let me know in the comments below. Thanks, everybody. Stay chill.